name is Mike Bath, and this is my YouTube channel, Living in the Illusion. Now, last time we got together, we talked about uh, manifesting and uh, how manifesting works. And the conclusion was manifesting has nothing to do with the universe. The universe is there and willing to give you what you want. It's you that needs to change to match the frequency, the vibration of what you want. Because it's there. And when you change and match the frequency of what you want to make you happy, you'll get those things to make you happy. So, I'll reference that over here, and uh, you'll have an opportunity to look at it if you haven't, or to refresh your memory if you have. So, this week, we're going to talk about another concept that is misunderstood. And it is this. There is no objective world. Now we think there's an objective world because in the illusion we look out and we believe we are seeing objects and that our outside world is filled with objects. Now we're going to look at that very closely and you may find there's no outside objects. Now to begin to understand that, we're going to go back to another concept of, uh, that we had uh, for eons and eons of time. And that is, the world's flat. The world appears to the naked eye to our great, 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 great grandparents to be flat. That's how they understood it. So we're going to look at that as a metaphor for the objective world. And we will begin to recognize that what we think is the objective world is basically eye candy developed by your inside belief system. So let's look at the flat world. Now I've started a little diagram here and you can see there's a flat world. And on that flat world, everybody is. And there was a whole belief system around the flat world, both secular and religious. Whatever the religion was eons of time ago. And basically, God was up here. And when you prayed to God, you looked up. Oh God, give me what I want. And couldn't understand a different concept because if it wasn't flat and God was up and God was down on the other side of a circle, how are you going to pray to him? You can't look, you got to look through the ground. It's very confusing. So in the flat world, you have a lot of things going on. And uh, you get close to the edge, it's very exciting. 
Oh, what is there? What is there? If you get too close, you fall off. So if you went to sea, a lot of ships never made it back because they ran in to the edge. And monsters were there and chewed them up and they disappeared. Uh -huh. So uh, the flat world was how we interpreted our whole life. And then, through various means, by really intelligent people, have turned out with the idea the world is round. So we changed from a flat world to a round world. But during that process, a lot of very smart people were burned at the stake, were ostracized, uh, because they weren't doing it according to the, land, uh, the, uh, the plan that God had in mind as determined by the social structure. So now we don't have a flat world. Now there are some organizations, if you look real hard, that still believe the world is flat. And that is too bad, but for most of us, the world is round. Now here's a question. Was the world ever flat? Now think about that for a minute. Was the world ever flat? Well, it appeared flat to the naked eye, to the uninformed. It was flat. But when you become informed, when you begin to look at the process clearly, we have a globe that we live on. So the flat world never did exist except as an artifact from the ancient times in our mind. And now few places have a flat world. Now, what does that have to do with the objective world? Well, we're going to take a few videos, a few sessions to go through this. But basically, your objective world is, again, what the naked eye is telling you before you understand how your senses work. None of your senses work the way you have been programmed to believe. Your senses do not tell you what is outside of you. Your senses tell you certain inputs for the, for the five senses, certain amount of data. And then that raw data must be interpreted. And how do you do that? You compare it to what you know, which is your past history. So the present awareness is determined by your past experiences. So the objective world is basically an inside creation and then a projection onto the outside energy system. Oh, very exciting how it does that. Uh, and we're gonna, that's what we're going to talk about in the next several videos. So this is to raise your awareness that there is 
no outside objective world. The only world, and ancient wisdom also says this, going back to uh, the Upanishads and, and uh, ancient uh, understandings, there is no outside world. The only world there is, is the one you create inside of you. How you do that? A reference, and I'll go through it next video, a reference, the standard model for the illusion and how you create your world uniquely for you. And it's not objective outside. It is an inside, very specific creation. Now, what does the Course in Miracles have to say about this? And it always has something to say. It's, uh, because uh, this is very specific. We believe the flat world, and some people still do, well, eons and eons and eons of time. And if you didn't believe it, you had to ship out. You'd be ostracized, you could be killed, you'd be put in prison, all kinds of bad things, because you didn't agree with social structure. That still happens with that. See, uh, a lot of people, a lot of mathematicians and uh, physicists have said there's no real world. Outside of you is only energy. Uh, Donald Hoffman uh, had many videos on that, and they would be helpful if you looked up his, I think I'll link to his uh, website, and you can look at some of that stuff. Now, as for the course, because how do you escape the illusion, okay? Now, is escape impossible? Now is escape impossible, escaping the illusion. Until you see you have responded to your own interpretation. So you interpret the world inside of you, which you then project onto the outside world. The Course is saying, you're creating it inside, projecting it outside. But you don't believe that. You believe it's outside. Oh, I see. I see a horse. I see a cow. I see a train. I see a car. I see a person. And you think they're outside. Nothing outside but energy. What you are seeing, and as soon as you see them, recognize you've interpreted them that way. You've interpreted the horse, the cow, the car, the other person <clears throat> through your belief system inside and projected it outside. So it's going to be interesting how we bring those together. So stay tuned. Uh, uh, be good to yourself. That's always fun. And we don't do enough of it. And we'll look forward to seeing you next time we get together here in the illusion. Bye now. Thank you.